Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the acid dissociation constant, Ka, of a weak acid using a pH curve from a titration of a weak acid with a strong base. We're going to talk about the steps involved, define the term half equivalence point, and look at an actual example of an ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide titration to find the Ka of the ethanoic acid. Acids and bases, acid dissociation constants, and titrations have all been covered in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. Before we get stuck in, there are a few essential ideas you need to be comfortable with. According to the bronsted larry definition, acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptors. Acids dissociate and split apart into H plus ions and their conjugate base ions when added to water. Strong acids fully dissociate when added to water and weak acids only partially dissociate when added to water, forming a solution that contains molecules of the acid, written as HA, H plus ions and conjugate base ions, written as A minus. Acid dissociation constants, Ka, are equilibrium constants that describe the position of equilibrium for the dissociation of a particular weak acid at a specific temperature. They are based on the concentration of weak acid molecules, H plus ions, and conjugate base ions at equilibrium, and can be calculated using the expression Ka equals concentration of H plus times concentration of A minus divided by concentration of HA. Square brackets are used in the expression to represent concentration. For example, H plus in square brackets means concentration of H plus ions. pH is a scale used to represent the concentration of H plus ions in a solution. The scale is logarithmic to the base 10. This means a change in pH value of 1 represents a tenfold change in H plus ion concentration. pH can be represented in two ways. pH equals minus log to the base 10 concentration of H plus ions and concentration of H plus ions equals 10 to the power minus pH. A titration is a practical technique that can be used to find the concentration of a solution of an acid or base. pH curves for acid-base titrations show how the pH of an acid or base solution changes as an opposite solution of base or acid is added to it. A sharp change in the pH occurs as the solution changes from acidic to alkaline. It is this sharp change that enables an indicator to be used to show when a titration is complete. Equivalence point refers to the point in a titration when just enough base or acid has been added to react with all the acid or base molecules in the starting solution, and there are no leftover amounts of either the acid or base in the solution. End point refers to the point in a titration when just enough base or acid has been added to cause an indicator to permanently change colour, and the titration is stopped at this point. Wow, quite a long recap there. But recap done, let's go. As a strong base gets added to a weak acid in a titration, the concentration of the weak acid molecules, HA, will decrease, and the concentration of its conjugate base ions, A minus, will increase. When the equivalence point is reached, there will be no weak acid, HA molecules, in the solution and all of the HA will have reacted with hydroxide ions and formed conjugate base ions, A-. At this point then, the moles of A- in the solution is the same as the moles of HA molecules that were in the solution at the start. As for every one mole of HA that reacts, one mole of A- gets formed. Here's the interesting part. When half the final moles of base needed to reach this point had been added, the moles of A- and HA were the same, in the same volume of solution, meaning the concentrations of both were also the same. For example, if there are one mole's worth of HA molecules at the start of a titration, when the concentration of HA becomes zero, at the equivalence point, this means one mole's worth of HA molecules have reacted, 
and this means one mole's worth of A- ions have been formed. For this to happen, one mole's worth of hydroxide ions would be added from the solution in the burette, from a given volume, let's say 25 centimetres cubed. If only half this volume, so 12.5 centimetres cubed, of this solution is added instead, it would contain half the number of moles of OH- ions that are in 25 centimetres cubed. In this case, 0.5 moles, as we just said that the 25 centimetres cubed had 1 moles of OH- ions in. Now, 0.5 moles of OH- ions will react with 0.5 moles of weak acid, HA molecules, and form 0.5 moles of A- ions. If the starting moles of HA was 1, this will mean 0.5 moles of HA will be left over unreacted. At this point then, there is 0.5 moles of HA molecules in the solution and 0.5 moles of A- ions the same moles of each. As a result, the concentrations of HA and A- will be exactly the same, as concentration equals moles divided by volume, and both the HA and A- are in the same volume of solution. This point in a titration is called the half equivalence point, and this point is reached halfway in the titration, meaning the volume of base added to reach the half equivalence point is half the volume added at the end point in a titration. We can't actually see when this point is reached in the titration, which is why we have to carry out a full titration and simply half the final volume added to find the half equivalence point. Now, for a weak acid, its Ka expression shows that its acid dissociation constant, Ka, equals concentration of H plus ions times concentration of A minus ions divided by concentration of HA. We've just seen that at a half equivalence point, the concentrations of A minus and HA are the same, meaning they will cancel each other out in this expression, and Ka will equal concentration of H plus ions. This means all we need to do to find the Ka of the weak acid is find the concentration of H plus ions in the solution at this half equivalence point, when Ka equals concentration of H plus ions. Luckily for us, a pH curve shows us the pH of the solution during the titration, meaning we can use the pH of the solution at the half equivalence point to find the concentration of H plus ions present. Remember, pH equals minus log to the base 10 concentration of H plus ions. And concentration of H plus ions equals 10 to the minus pH. Using the pH of the solution at the half equivalence point, 10 to the power minus pH will be the concentration of H plus ions in the solution. And, like we've just said, will be the same as the Ka value for the weak acid. If you are ever asked for the pKa of the weak acid, all you need to do is minus log to the base 10 Ka, as pKa equals minus log to the base 10 Ka. The pH curve shown is for a solution of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide being added to a solution of ethanoic acid. The equivalence point on the graph is shown to be 29 centimeters cubed. This means that all of the ethanoic acid molecules, HA, in the starting solution have been reacted perfectly with hydroxide ions when 29 centimetres cubed of sodium hydroxide solution was added. To find the moles of the ethanoic acid that were present at the start, we need to know how many moles of hydroxide ions have been added to reach the equivalence point. We are told that the concentration of sodium hydroxide added is 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed. Moles equals concentration times volume, meaning moles of sodium hydroxide added equals 0.1 times 29 divided by 1000. Remember, we divide by 1000 to get the volume from centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed to match the volume unit used in concentration per decimeter cubed. This gives us 0.0029 moles of sodium hydroxide, and therefore 0.0029 moles of OH- ions were added. Sodium hydroxide reacts with ethanoic acid in a one-to-one -one ratio, 
meaning if it took 0.0029 moles of OH- ions to react with all the ethanoic acid present, there must have been 0.0029 moles of ethanoic acid present at the start. At the start of the titration then, there was 0.0029 moles of HA, ethanoic acid. At the end of the titration, the equivalence point, there are zero moles of HA, but this many moles of A minus, as 0.0029 moles of ethanoic acid will react to form 0.0029 moles of ethanoate ions. When half the final volume of sodium hydroxide had been added, 14.5 centimeters cubed, 0.00145 moles of OH- ions must have been added, as half the volume would contain half the moles of OH-. 0.00145 moles of OH- reacted with the ethanoic acid, producing the same number of moles of ethanoate ions, and the moles of ethanoic acid left in the solution would also be 0.00145 as the starting moles we just found out was 0.0029 moles, and 0.0029 minus 0.00145 is 0.00145. This is the half equivalence point, and at this point in the titration, the concentration of ethanoic acid, HA, and ethanoate ions, A minus, are the same. If we write out the Ka expression for ethanoic acid, we can see that Ka equals concentration of H plus ions times concentration of ethanoate ions divided by concentration of ethanoic acid molecules. If the concentrations of ethanoate ions and ethanoic acid are the same, they will cancel out, and now Ka equals concentration of H plus ions. To find concentration of H plus ions, we can use the pH of the solution as shown on the graph. At this point in the graph, when 14.5 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide is added, the pH of the solution is 4.76. Concentration of H plus ions equals 10 to the power minus pH, meaning concentration of H plus ions equals 10 to the power minus 4.76. 1.74 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per decimeter cubed. As Ka equals concentration of H plus ions at this point, this value is the Ka of ethanoic acid. To convert this to pKa, all we need to do is minus log to the base 10 Ka, given a pKa of ethanoic acid of 4.76. You may have spotted here that the pKa value is the same as pH at the half equivalence point. I strongly recommend you work through in the way just shown, however, as you really need to understand how to get to this final value, rather than just remember that pKa equals pH at the half equivalence point. So, to summarize, as a strong base gets added to a weak acid in a titration, at a given point, the concentration of weak acid molecules in the solution will be the same as the concentration of its conjugate base ions. This is called the half equivalence point. The half equivalence point will be reached halfway to the equivalence point, meaning the volume of base needed to reach the half equivalence point is half the volume of base used to get to the equivalence point in the titration. The Ka expression for a weak acid shows that if weak acid concentration and conjugate base ion concentration is the same, then Ka equals the concentration of H plus ions in the solution at the half equivalence point. The pH of the solution at the half equivalence point can be used to find this concentration of H plus ions. By using concentration of H plus ions equals 10 to the power minus pH meaning at the half equivalence point, Ka equals 10 to the power minus pH. To convert the Ka value of the weak acid to pKa, minus log to the base 10 Ka is used. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.